right, this is the fourth segment on the life cycle of a butterfly. And today we are going to transfer our painted lady butterflies over to their butterfly habitat. Uh, we've never done this before, so this is very new uh, to us. And um, hopefully we can transfer them all over in one piece. Right now, if you get a close-up view, you can see that they're all in their chrysalises right now. There's a hard shell surrounding and protecting each of the caterpillars. Now, in the directions, it says that we need to open up the containers, and I'm going to do that now. And you might see them shake a little because that's a protective mechanism that they have. Okay. All right, what do you do when part of the caterpillar is eaten through the paper? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to, um, <laughs> we're gonna take the piece of paper and do this as gently as possible. Okay, we are going to remove it from the cup and we are going to pin them onto the side of, of the habitat. Now, I am a little nervous because some of them do appear to be getting stuck in the webbing. <laughs> so I wasn't exactly thinking about that. <laughs> Uh, they do have a little bit of webbing that forms, and so what we're going to have to do is cut the webbing off. Okay, just like that. Okay, see that wasn't so bad. I'm going to try to take the part that is a little easier to pen. And I know this appears a little gross for all of you watching at home, but this is science at work. This is nature. And sometimes nature can be gross. Just make sure you wash your hands afterwards. So now we need to pin it. If one of the chrysalises falls off, it's okay. Sarah, can you get a really, Sandra, my awesome assistant, she's my sister, she is going to zoom in a little bit to see the detailing. You can see that there's little, you can almost see like little bumps coming out of the chrysalis. You can almost like kind of see a little bit of a grooved edge there on the outside. And it almost appears like a little gold, doesn't it? Like a goldish green, Sandra. Yeah. See that? And I even yeah. see little fur. What, what else do you see? Yellow spots. Yellow, I see the yellow spots too. I almost see a little bit of fur coming out of one of them. <laughs> and black. Yeah, so this is very interesting. <laughs> Okay, now I have to be very careful in the process. I'm going to take a safety pin and probably put it like maybe right about in here. Okay. So as to form a stable place, but also not to hurt any of the chrysalises. Boy, judging how they look now, it's going to be very interesting to see what the end result is going to be when they actually turn into butterflies. I know. Okay. All right, I can see I kind of... We're going to put it... It's okay if one of them falls, they said. Did I touch that one? Why it fell. Okay. So to put it a couple of inches from the floor, maybe like a little closer to the floor, like here. Mm. Do you think that's good, Sandra? Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna come back in. And close this baby up. I feel like I'm a surgeon right now. <laughs> have to be like really careful. They said if one of the chrysalises falls on the floor on the floor of the habitat that it's not a problem to just make sure there are napkins down there and that that it should be fine. Is 
Is it shaking? I don't know, but I heard something. I heard something too. Okay. <gasps> What's that? That's okay. That's just some of the skin that um, they did grow. The skin did grow, and they do shed skin, so that was just some of the skin that formed. So that part's okay. It's not like, you know, a head or anything. <laughs> They do shed their heads when they, um, they're they going through the different levels of a caterpillar. They shed their heads too? Because monarch caterpillars don't. They keep the same size head that the painted lady butterflies do. Yeah. Really? Well, maybe that, maybe this is a head. <laughs> you can zoom on that. I don't know. I sure hope not. I want to make sure that these babies are okay. Right, I think it's fine. I think it's just a little bit of the skin that got shed. Okay. <laughs> All right. We really both are experimenting with this process and we're hoping that our little babies are okay because we're really going to treat them with love and care and just hope that they're all right. I think that was quite successful, Sandra, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Except for the fact that one of them fell down, but they did say that's quite normal, that that does often happen, so I don't think it's anything for us to worry about. All right, now we're going to transfer the second one over. Okay. And let's see how successful this one comes along. This paper looks like it's in better standing. Looks like yeah. it's in better shape than the other one. So we're gonna try to take, we're gonna take it from the best part. And there's some interesting facts about painted ladies. Actually, Sandra, that would be great if you could read some of the the facts that are here about the painted lady can you tell our audience at home what are some of the unique features of this type of butterfly well painted ladies um can lay up to 500 eggs during their lifetime that's even more than a modern yeah. butterfly and she breathes through holes in her abdomen which is the the center of her body that's interesting. She's the most widely distributed butterfly in the world. Wow. So Even more so than the monarch. Yeah, so she's a lot more well-known. Mm-hmm. During her lifetime, she may travel over 1,000 miles, which is, which is interesting considering that their lifespan is normally on average two to four weeks. Right. Wow. So they make the most of... They make of, those, of those weeks. Oh, there's one wiggling here, Sandra. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you see it wiggling? Yeah. Get a good close-up of that. That's very common. They actually mention that in the booklet. Uh, when they're first being transferred, it's a protective mechanism. They know that something is happening around them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mechanism to ward away predators that might come to attack them. That's like, right. Like flies. And wasps. Exactly. So he's communicating right now, warning for any of those predators to stay away. And so he's to shaking. Try to scare them off. He's shaking his body right now, saying, don't come near me. And we definitely don't want to scare these little guys, but we do have mm -hmm. to make the transfer. And so that is part of the process. So we're going to continue to gently remove. Oh, now a couple of them are shaking wow. now, Sandra. Maybe they're sisters. <laughs> <laughs> responding to each other. Exactly.